President Obama made a rather confused case to the American public last night about intervention in Syria. Have a listen. America's not the world's policeman. Terrible things happen across the globe, and it is beyond our means to right every wrong. But when, with modest effort and risk, we can stop children from being gassed to death and thereby make our own children safer over the long run, I believe we should act. Welcome back to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel. I've got editorial board member Brett Stevens here to talk about the president's speech. Brett, it was quite a sight. He, he seemed to make this compelling case for military action and said, well, never mind. You know, it reminded me of John Roberts' majority opinion on, on, in the health care case where he clearly had written an opinion that would have been the, major, the, the, the dissent um, or the majority, and then he kind of changed his mind at the last minute. And so he makes this case that we have to act, that we simply can't allow this butchery to continue, that we can't allow it to go unpunished. And, um, oh, by the way, never mind, because there's a promising Russian initiative. And sotto voce, I was about to lose the congressional vote, which in an ill-advised moment I sought in the first place. So this was, I think, as disastrous um, a, uh, a presidential speech on foreign policy as any we have seen from any president in my uh, memory. That's uh, Reagan, Bush one, Clinton. Never has a president gone before the American people and said, um, well, we don't really know what to do. It was, it was literally uh, an invitation uh, to Amer all Americans to waste our time. It also seemed to be a statement that was bigger than Syria, Brett, because the president repeated several times, we are not the world's policemen. What do you take from that, and, and what implications does that have, not just for this president, but for sort of setting a boundary for future presidents? Well, that's, that's exactly the right question, Mary. And um, uh, I don't know in which way to be scared by that comment, which is, does he really believe we are not the world's policemen? And does he have some idea of who might uh, be the world's policeman in our stead? Or does the world not need a policeman? Uh, I guess the people who voted for Bill de Blasio might think that New York doesn't need policemen either. <laughs> but in fact, you, de you do need a world's policeman. And before the United States, Great Britain was a world policeman and civilization advanced on account of it. When you don't have a world's policeman, what happened in, in Syria is precisely what's going to happen all, um, all over the place as dictators and despots and terrorists understand that it's open season, that the United States doesn't feel an obligation to respond to these sorts of, uh, these sorts of atrocities, the use of these kinds of weapons. So um, uh, once again, it betrayed something like either the intellectual incoherence or the kind of strangely, um, the strange uh, ideology, the strange, the opposition to the idea that America ought to be a world power. And whether it was um, incoherent or ideological, I find that strange. But how much and of this, upsetting. well, but how much <laughs> of this speech reflected American opinion? Because we have been at war, the war on terror, for now a very long time. I'm mindful of that today is 9-11 and the anniversary. Um, it, could this president simply be reflecting the public mood? Well, you're right. There is a very confused public mood. There's no question there's a great deal of war weariness. At the same time, there's also a sense that if not us, who? The UN, the Chinese, the Russians? Um, so what you look for in a president is leadership, right? But this is the president who famously, or a member of his administration, famously coined the term leading from, uh, leading from behind. Well, this is no leadership at all. This is maybe it's polling of some, uh, uh, of some kind. The president could very well have stood up and said, my fellow Americans, what's happening in Syria is terrible, but frankly, we don't really have an interest in it. And every time we get involved in a Middle East issue, it turns out to be a disaster. So we're, we're, we're bugging out. Okay, I would have disagreed with him, but at least it was a statement of, of principle. Or he could have offered much of the speech that he gave saying, this is unacceptable. If we don't act, who will? What kind of world uh, will we live in? That was the first five right. minutes of the speech. Exactly. It was and a so, good first five and, minutes. And so therefore, we, uh, we will act. But instead, he kind of went, uh, well, on the one hand, on the other, which reflects, you know, Barack Obama, Harvard Law Review editor, with no particular opinion of his own. That was, that was this speech 
or uh, 20 or years Brett, later. It was a political speech. It gave him, Russia is giving him a political out, and he's taking the opportunity. I, I, I don't think so. I think this is bad politics as well as bad leadership. Bad politics, bad leadership. Editorial board member Brett Stevens. Thank you. Thanks so much for being on the show.